Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, this workout today is gonna be a no repeat strength. So grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do a lot of compound exercises today, multi-muscle and joint, using legs and arms at the same time. That's gonna get the heart rate up. It's gonna be a faster format today. We're gonna to do 45 seconds of work with only 10 seconds in between because again, we're only doing it once. I want to get the heart rate up and make it feel like kind of cardio and strength combined. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. And hey, if you're interested in having a full schedule of workouts, I've just released my new advanced 5.0 Organize Your YouTube Workouts. I basically take workouts from my YouTube channel plus some exclusive ones not posted on YouTube and I put them in a cohesive format in a calendar that you can do for a month. So if you want that, it's only $10. Click the card at the top of the screen and download that for this month. All right, let's do this and move daily. I'll mark strength on my watch here. All right, let's start with a little uh, hip opener here. Just get down as low as you can. If you can't get all the way down, just kind of camp up here, but we're pushing the knees out, opening up into that inner thighs. I'm just rocking side to side and actually just getting down into this position, stretching hips, stretching my Achilles, and just warming up that lower body, really is what we're doing. <laughs> In essence, uh, keep your hands on your feet. Stand and squat nice and slow there. Oh yeah, good stretch in the hamstring there. We'll go for eight, there's four. I've got four more here. Oh, clicky knee, two. Last one here, and there we go. Oh, round it up. Let's hit some shoulder circles here. Just roll those shoulders back. And forward rolls, that's it. I had a client once who was very, very clicky. <laughs> like every joint in her body would click when she would move. Almost made me nauseous. <laughs> You're so clicky, reach across. Not her fault, but holy. She's like, it doesn't hurt. I'm like, I know, but it hurts my ears. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, reach up and over. All right, let's go into circles here. Tap that out. Switch directions. Then we'll keep it wide here. Touch your toes, reach it up. Good. Oh yeah. I walked this morning already. We did our big one hour loop. Ran into mama deer and baby. Had to go with a different direction. They can be aggressive. You don't wanna come around them when they're got their babies right there. Two more here. All right, and a side to side lunge. Drop that shoulder and switch. One more each side. Very good. I'm just gonna turn, drop it into a drop lunge, reach inside and stretch that up, just like that. Normally I twist the other way, I'm twisting toward, away from my knee this time. All right, push up, switch sides, drop, reach inside, and stretch. That requires good hip flexibility there. One more each side here. Turn, reach, and stretch. Last one here. Very good. Let's finish off with some squat front kicks and then we'll get started here. Feet shoulder width, shoulders back. You're here. And kick for 10. Last one here. 
Very good. All right, here's your first four exercises. Remember, no repeat. We're gonna go, go, go. I've listed the weights that I'm using, so you can take a look at the top of the screen and be sure to grab the weights that are right for you. I'm gonna hold that 12 to start. Side lunge, press with the high knee. I'll call halfway on this one. Reach across, here we go. Lunge and press. Hip goes back. And I put my arm up to the side for a nice counterbalance as I press overhead. Last one here. Take a step to the side, switch hands, and reach and press. Good. Grab my 15s next here. Into that deadlift squat combo. Deadlift first, pick them up, squat it low and work. So low, pick it up and drop. Clean and snatch is next. I'll just hold 115 there. You can go lighter if you need. Set one down. Wide stance. We're dropping it low. Okay, elbow leads. Hips uh, pop and you flip it up. I'll call half pop. Watch your face. Last one here. Switch your hand. Okay. Setting that down, moving to a pendulum swing. Just gonna hold 110, one leg is stationary. I front lunge, then I switch my hand with the dumbbell. Here we go. Stay on the same leg, I'll call half. All right, switch legs and work front. And back. All right, I'm gonna move into a squat front press. I'm holding the 10, drop low, press. And stand, wide stance, a bit low, and up, low. You want your stance wide enough so you can drop into that 90 degree knee. my other 10 for squat thrusts coming up and torso turn all right holding on 10 grabbing the next up in the shoulders you're gonna drop squat and stand and press alternating sides low turn press 
switch sides. Choppers next. All right, I think I will hold 112 on my wood chopper. I'll call halfway, we'll switch. Super wide stance, drop it low and drive. Here we go. Get into that nice little squat. Last one here, and switch. Front lunges, and grab my fives. We're gonna lateral raise at the top, alternating the lunge. So lunge here, lateral up, switch sides, lateral at the top. Good, now you're gonna reverse lunge, alternating with the front raise. Alternate the legs, raise at the top. Stay tall in your upper body. We're gonna go right into bear crawl here. Lateral bear crawl with an up-down plank. All right, so you're gonna up-down plank in bear and then crawl to the side. Here we go. So elbow, elbow, hand, hand, cross, cross. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, cross, cross. Bum is down, knees are bent, hovering over the ground. You're staying on the ground after this for your chest fly bicycle combo. I'll use 12s for that. All right, on your back, I'm grabbing 12s while bicycling. I'm doing the chest fly here and open. Push your back into the ground. Squeeze the pecs at the top.
You're gonna stay down here for a full sit up, toe touch, just without the weights. Okay, very good. So, full sit up. Here, bring your feet in, opposite hand touches opposite foot. Let's work. And up, drive and down, switch sides. Nice little glute, little core here. Excellent. We'll stay down here for one more and grab my 15s for a tricep press. Shallow overhead extension next. Grab those 15s or lighter if you need. Press to the ceiling, down, shallow overhead, return. Press it up, bring it down, back and return. Up, down, shallow and return. I'm gonna stand up right from here into the Monica. It's a suitcase squat. Reverse deadlift combo. I'll hold 15s. All right, come to standing. Holding your 15s, feet are shoulder width apart. Squat. Weights in front. Drop it low, bring in front, hips go up, then you stand. Drop, pop, and drive. Right, Reese with a spoon. <laughs> right. It's a pop and drive. Right, bicep curls. I'm just gonna grab tens for this. Wide stance, drop it low, palms up, curl, then stand. Drop it low, curl, and stand. Plie, curl, shoulders back. Burpee clean and snatch next. You could just do like a pop press or a shoulder press if you don't want to do the burpee, or you could walk out the burpee to mod. All right. I'm gonna hold 115. I'm gonna burpee down first, jump wide, pick it up and snatch it. All right, burpee first. So burpee out, jump wide, pick it up, clean and snatch. Switch hands now. Burpee, wide, clean. Front feet shoulder width. Drop. Kick it here. Switch sides.
All right, take a sip of water if you need. It's gonna include a 15 second break here, and then we're back at it. This one's hard, you're gonna do a prisoner squat with a jump at the top. You can do this without weight. You could also just do a squat without the prisoner part. Hold it here. So, go knee, knee, stand, stand, draw, hop, pick it up. Knee, knee, stand, stay low, hop. Quads. Last here. Okay. Plie press. Wide press. I'll use my eights here. I'm on the shoulders. Super wide and plie. Press at the top. Go. We're gonna burn out these same muscles with the next exercise. Plie high pull to W. I'll use my eights again there. Okay, so you're here, up, here, W, up. Don't go too heavy. Stay wide in your stance. Low, high pull here. Low, W, pause at the top. And hold. We have the set single side shoulder press coming up. I think I'll use a 12 for that. Kick it down to the ground. If you can't do V sit, put your feet on the ground and just lean it back. Otherwise, feet are up and press. I'll call half. Arm out for counterbalance. Slow. Don't rush this move. Don't want your whole body rocking. That's tough. 12 is work. In four, three, two, switch your side. Ready and push. a Powell raise next with my one five. 45 seconds on one side, 45 on the other. Okay, so let's get this guy. Side plank, mod right here if you need. Here we go. Up, slow, slow, hover there. Up, slow, slow. We're here for a full 45. So I want you to take your time. Getting those obliques, hitting that rear delt. I'm gonna just mod now. It's my elbow that just can't manage it. Obliques feel fine, shoulders fine. It's the elbow. Stay with me, full 45 per side here. Four, three, two, oh, nice. Now flip it. Whew. I am sweaty and it's only 20 minutes in. Wowie. That's compound for you. And up. Slow. Modifying now, 
spent. I do love this exercise though. Staying down here for a pulse chest press with a glute bridge. All, everything is up, everything is down for the glutes. All right, I'm gonna use 15s. So you're gonna pulse at the bottom, then full range press at the top on your back. Ready? Little pulse, everything is up. Down, pulse and up. Pulse and press. Right over the chest. I did a push up on the kettlebell, my kettlebell workout the other day. I loved it. We're gonna hit it here where we pause at the top of the push up. Okay, you can do this from the knees. You're gonna push up, and then when you come to the top, you're gonna pound the chest and pause there. Same side. I'll call half and pause, down and pause. Really working that front shoulder of the one side. Pause. Try not to tilt your body. Pause. One more on this side. And pause. Switch sides now. Stand for your iron cross. I'm gonna hold eight. Oh, I've got a mess here, don't I? <laughs> okay, squat, ceiling side, center down. Squat it here, ceiling, side, center, and down, squat. We're going to go into a stationary lunge and do a dumbbell switch. So as you descend, you switch in the center, press to the top, here we go. So center switch, press, center, press. I'll call half on the legs. Switch your leg, move quick. Here we go, and switch. Press. My knee with the military press. I think I'm just gonna go to my fives here though. Over the head, high knees here, press. Whew. Shoulders are burning, just do the knees. Give them a rest for a sec. Yeah, it's burning. Okay, 
Okay, side lunge lateral. You can go stick with my 12 there. Side lunge, lateral pop. Half. Here we go, lunge it here. Last one here, switch sides. Pop. I'm gonna grab my eights again for my diagonal squat fly. Okay, so hold them here. You're gonna drop to a diagonal squat, fly at the top. Alternate sides, squat, open, switch sides and squat. seconds and then we're done. Stay in the pocket. Oh, let's work for the shoulders. Last three, two, one and done. Yeah, move daily. Your yeah. compound workout. Enjoy for stretch if you can. All right, if you have a wall couch chair, let's stretch into the chest. We're just gonna do a quick little cool down here today. Hey, remember that 30 minutes is great. It's a great way to get your blood flow increased. It's a great way, you know, especially at a workout like this. I got my heart rate up, I'm puffed, I'm sweating, my muscles feel worked because I lifted heavy in the, in the exercises that I could. I think it's super beneficial. And sometimes I think we beat ourselves up because we can't get, let's stretch here, a full 60 minutes or 50 minutes in and I personally, having been a trainer for 13 years, don't think it's always necessary. If you like to for your own mental health and well-being, by all means, but it's not like you're not gonna get benefit out of a 30 minute workout. You definitely will. And you know, it's, it's what you combine it with too, right? So if I did this today, I might isolate a specific group tomorrow that's not sore. Like I might go, okay, what am I not feeling? I might feel my shoulders tomorrow a bit, so I'd probably do like a leg workout tomorrow. Let's go into a glute stretch and uh, spend a lot of time on one muscle group, right? Like maybe I do glutes specifically. Um, so I think that's a great way to do it. If you do a full body like this, then maybe isolate the next day. Or you could pick a week and do total body the whole week and really get a lot of like overall um, training and toning. So there's lots of different ways to go about it, but my main point is, this is great. You did well. I'm sure if you did what I did there, you're sweaty and you feel like worked. My muscles feel pumped. And uh, it's a great way to start the day. Even if you only have 30 minutes, heal up, hinge forward. Why not start it with a way that's gonna increase serotonin and give you those feel good feelings you know, for the day, and especially if you struggle with anxiety or depression, this is a free way to help you manage symptoms like that. And I'm not saying it makes it go away, by all means it doesn't, but it sure as heck can help you. And like I said, it's free. It's one of those things though that you've just gotta make yourself do. And know that the reward may not be instantaneous, but it is benefiting the body overall. So think about that. All right, thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. And again, if you're looking for a calendar of uh, four weeks worth of scheduled workouts, click or tap the screen there, and here's a workout for tomorrow. See ya in the next workout.